B5 Star Terror Raid Special Halloween Terror Raid event for Gengar is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In today's video, we're going to cover all of the details as well as the best build to solo this event in your games. Now, the event is running from the 28th of October and it'll be running through till the 31st. So we've got four days to take advantage of this event. And there is a really good reason why, because it's going to be one of the best ways for us to farm rare candies in the game that we've had. I mean, the Blissey Raids are pretty good for Terra Shards, but this event is going to be amazing for those rare candies. Now, once you've got the events in game, the build that we're going to feature in today's video is going to be for Ursa Ring. I'm using Ursa Ring as it's available in the base games. You can use Ursa Luna if you've got access to one, but both do a pretty similar job. Now, the Ursa Ring is going to be level 100. It will be hyper trained. Make sure those IVs are all set to 31. Don't worry about the Terra type because it's not going to come into consideration in this raid. But the most important thing is going to be the held item. Now, I would go with the Flame Orb. You can go with the Toxic Orb if you would like to. And the move set is going to be Belly Drum. And the only move that you're going to need in this raid is going to be Crunch. But you may as well flesh out the other moves if you want to. I mean, we've got Facade and Close Combat here. It'll be useful for other raids in future. The EV spread is going to be 252 EVs in HP and in attack with an Adamant Nature. And the most important thing is going to be that ability guts that plays off your held item the flame orb to make sure that you do get burned or if you've got the toxic orb it will make sure that you're poisoned to activate that ability of course the ursa luna is going to be an alternative option here but the ursa ring like we've said is going to be just as good both builds will be down in the description below if you want to take a look at them we'll jump into the raid now and i'll show you how quick and easy this can be now when you come in against the five star Gengar, although it's on a seven star terror raid, we will have a turn zero and it will fire off an astonish into one of the random targets on our side of the field because we're a normal type though, we're not going to be affected by it so we don't need to worry about that at all. Uh, then turn one, we're going to lock in with a belly drum straight off the bat so we're just going to max out our attack, cut our HP in half. We'll take an attack for our trouble but because of our bulk we're able to take it pretty comfortably especially from a five star raid and that will just max our attack to plus six, meaning that we're all set up ready to go. The flame orb will activate, so we will take a turn of burn, and then turn two, we're gonna go for an all out attack chair. This just guarantees that we do pick up the knockout. So depending on the damage that Gengar has taken before you attack, uh, you can miss the knockout if you don't go for the all out attack chair. So that's why we go for it, we get that off. It's gonna go for the obligatory lick, but again, we are not gonna be affected by that. So. We are going to be all ready to go with our next turn, turn three, with a crunch. And that is going to be more than enough to pick up a knockout on this Gengar. And you can see here, this will work so well in the raid. And you're going to be able to catch the Gengar. The shiny rates of the Gengar as well are standard, so you need to keep an eye on them. Uh, if you do come across a shiny, that'll be amazing. Of course, you don't need to catch the Gengar if you don't want, because you will be probably farming for these amazing drops. As you can see here as well, we get very lucky because there is a small chance, a 3% chance that you get a Herba Mystica drop as well with these raids. But that is another additional bonus. But on top of that, you're going to get Ghost Terror Shards and you're going to get an absolute boatload of XL, large, medium and rare candies as well. So it's going to be one of the best events that we've had in a long time for just topping up our candies to make sure that we're able to train up our team extremely easy in game. And once you've beat the raid, of course, then you can just come onto your map and then find the next terror raid because you're going to have a bunch of them appearing on your map at the same time. So you can just head over to it and just kind of rinse and repeat the exact thing that we've just done. Of course, the builds will be down in the description below, like I've already mentioned. But if you want to use the Ursa Ring, it is in the base games, easy to get a hold of. But if you have a Saluna, it might be a little bit better. And then you don't need to always rely on that all out attack chair. But the Ursa Ring does need it because of that little less attack that it has from the Ursa Luna. Uh, but both builds are going to be very, very good for you this weekend. I don't think there's any situation where you'll probably fail with those and you're going to have an easy time farming for all of the rare candy that you need and hopefully some of the Herba Mystica as well that you can drop with this event. Of course, it is a trick or treat event. Yes, the treat with this event is going to be the bit of Herba Mystica. If you don't get it, then that's kind of the trick. But I hope you have a lot of luck with it. And of course, if you found today's video useful, if you found the build useful, please consider dropping a like. Do subscribe to the channel as well to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Skull and Violet content. We have a seven star terror raid event for Fraligator dropping later this week. So we'll be covering the best builds for that. And of course, when it goes live, a best solar build to make it as easy as possible when the event does drop. 
Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Happy Halloween. Have a great time over the holiday period, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.